This is a trailer for the specialty items. First specialty item we're not going to talk too much about, but it's going to be featured, is Pictometry. It's a free download. Please take advantage, and it will show you how you can use photographs to augment your drawings and to be very specific. It's a great tool. But the rest of the videos, of which there are six, they total approximately about 45, 50 minutes. And you can learn, for example, square break, shown up above. For square break, we start with a roof. And then what do we do? We press, we go to the square break tool, click on it, highlight the drawing, click on it, start it, and then where do we go from there? We get one corner out. Now if we want two corners, we can go to three corners, then four. Furthermore, if we want to take a corner out here, we can do that also. And we'll show you what the blue squares and the hash marks mean. And from there, we'll take out offsets some more. So you get a rather intricate drawing. And then from there, we're going to add a couple of changes. Square break tool is a very sophisticated tool and again allows you to replicate a drawing exactly. Undo. See it up on the screen. The most powerful tool. We'll start with a drawing and we'll count upwards. We'll make one change, we'll make it a hip. We'll make two changes, more, and we'll put some offsets on the north and south portions of the page. We'll do it again and we'll add, put some vertexes on there and go on the east and west side and we'll end up with this. Now if we did this all on one page and we went control Z, you'd lose one. Two, three, four, five. Very simple. Back to where we started. No change. Control Z, undo. Powerful tool, as long and you'll learn how to use it. The next video would be vertex. Can you draw this one, this shown on the screen? Well, of course you can. Here's how you start. You start like that. Okay, some well-placed vertices here and here. And on the top and the bottom. And what do you get? Looking better. Now you got another couple vertices opposite corners. Four, four of them looks different. Put some more vertices here. And you've got a different angle till finally your final change. And highlight it, got your dimensions. Basically, not hard. You're going to learn what that diamond vertice looks like and what those. Those bisecting arrows that we talk about right there will do for you. Very easy, but you have to be aware. Good video for the complicated roofs. One of the hardest, but actually the most fun to use, is properties. In properties, we can start out with this gable right here. Then just by going into properties, making a couple of changes, what do we have? We have a flat roof. We can change from a flat roof to a gable. Take a look. A, a rather a perfect tip. From there, we can go to a partial hip. Again, look at it. Take a look. 
From there, we can go to a Dutch hip. From there, we can go to another roof until finally we can start making some changes. We'll start back with the gable. And if you notice, we have, if we take a look, we have on our 3D, we have nice overhangs, don't we? At the eaves. All right. So we'll go back. Now we'll see what we can do, some changes. We'll go to the next drawing and watch the changes. Doesn't look like much. Let's go 3D. Look at the pitch. Pitch is much more significant than the previous one, isn't it? Not? All right. So from there, we're going to go back to A pitch, the same pitch, but what? Look at here. We've got no overhang. Okay, we can go back. All this is from properties. Look at this. We just changed that roof. Now, how did we change it? Let's look at it from 3D. Right, we'll bring it back up. Holy smokes. We moved the ridge line over. All with properties. All right, the last tool <coughs> is that we're going to use is we're going it's a very advanced it's import and underlay to sketch. You see the heading right there in front of you. And basically what we do is we take a picture. And of course you see and from that we go to and we bring it in here. There's about five simple steps. And now can you imagine how easy it is to put a roof on there? You now have your detail. You are truly replicating. Take a look at all these. I think they'll help you. And I appreciate it. Your patronage.